Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. There it is. Look at that sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Whoop, it got dark. All right, today is September the 22nd, 2022. And I am going to show you a very quick way, a very effective way, and a very dumb way to shorten the life of your air-cooled Kawasaki engine. Well, let's just say your air-cooled engine, period. In fact, this goes for any internal combustion engine. But since we're mostly talking about mowers, this could be a Kawasaki, a Kohler, a Briggs & Stratton, a Tecumseh, any number of uh, your handheld stick equipment whether it's two or four stroke I'm gonna show you right now on my own mower a really fast way to give your piece of lawn equipment or whatever asthma and put it to a short grade let me show you so I'm gonna pop this off now first of all we have a small problem here I'm reducing the airflow to this air filter. Now, this particular Kawasaki, the FS Kawasaki engines have this, what's called an oval air filter. I do not like these air filters. I like the canister, the FX versions that sits up a little higher. It uses a Donaldson canister. It's got more surface area and it doesn't seem to pick up as much garbage. However, this is what we're working with so let me take this off all right so this has a pre-filter on it this is just a foam element that is on here to pick up the big chunks this is what would be considered big chunks all right obviously since the uh since you're working with gravity and stuff uh, it's being pulled into the engine it's going to get dirtier on the top now this is perfectly normal but let me tell you guys something that this is only this is only four days worth of mowing four days now you have several choices here the first one is to vacuum this out that is my preferred choice the second one is to blow it out with compressed air that is not what you want to do because when you blow this out with compressed air you're going to drive the particles of dust and sand. Basically, it's it's just dust, tiny, tiny little rocks. <clears throat> and um, you're going to drive that further in the air filter medium. And you will not get the maximum life out of this that you can. So let me set this camera right here. And I want you guys to see, as I'm seeing it, let me point it this way so there's not as much light degradation here okay so first thing I'm gonna do is very gently I'm gonna pull this foam off here so much dust is coming off there and this is doing its job that's fine it's not disposable but look at this dust is coming out of there. Four days of mowing. Now ironically, well you obviously don't want this in, in the engine for sure because what's going to happen let me tell you exactly how this damages your engine it starts creating wear on your rings and then you start burning oil and then you end up grenading your engine All right, so so far I haven't even used the vacuum and I've gotten out that is a lot it's a, it's a whole lot 
pounds. So I'm going to take my vacuum and I'm going to do the same thing you guys have seen me do before. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to run the vacuum around it. <clears throat> I'm not blowing compressed air because I want I want the stuff that's on the outside here. I want it to be sucked out or fall out like this. I don't want to push it into the filter medium anymore. Now, when when do you need to change this filter? Well, let me see if I can demonstrate this. If you guys, I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up. Can you see the light? I can still see light. I'm looking through the inside to the outside. If I can still see light through there, as I'm turning it. So how long will this filter last? Uh, it's been my, that's a pretty good shot right there. See right there, you can still see the light. In my estimation, I run these for about six months and then just go ahead and get a new one because you'll, you'll not be able to see the light anymore. It's very hard to show on the camera, but there's, there's, there you go. Okay, so please, 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 please don't send your engine to an early grave. This is the, this is so easy to do, so easy. If you do nothing else but do what I did, Right there, you can do that on the street at the in front of the customers. You don't have to have a vacuum, but I once a once a week, once a week. Now I let this go way too far. Okay, I should have done this at least twice this week, and when it's real dusty, I just I should have known I was just too lazy, too lazy. Um, so I'm getting it in my weekly maintenance, but that is way that is a lot. It is a whole lot of dust. Now, because an air filter is porous, some dust gets in and gets through the engine. Some of it gets burned or attempted to be burned. Some of it gets in the oil. That's You'll see the oil get darker and darker. Some of that is combustion byproducts, but some of that is silica, basically, is, is silica, silica sand. Basically, it's rocks that are in different powder form when you're out mowing. And, you know, you get debris, you get sand and stuff stirs up and it floats around like smoke. That's the stuff that some of it, most of it, gets stopped by the air filter. Some of it gets through. That's just the way it is. If, if this were 100% efficient on all sizes of particles of um, debris, then the engine you wouldn't be able to get enough air through there so there's a give and take it's just like an oil filter it has to let some of the contaminants through that's why you change your oil regularly so let this be a word to the wise leaf season is coming up a lot of you guys like me you're going to be doing mulching it's going to be very dry you're going to produce plumes and plumes of dust so i would recommend that you do this if you're going to be mulching up leaves and it's really dry do this once a day that Kawasaki engine right there will average probably about 3,000 hours. That's about with not so good maintenance. I am sure that you could get five or 6,000 hours out of it if you really keep the oil change, keep the valves adjusted, and keep the air filter clean. There's no reason it shouldn't. If you're using really good oil and it's got good filtered air, there's no reason that engine can't last five or 6,000 hours or longer. So anyway, guys, hopefully that helps. Um, go check your mowers. Do the same thing to your filters on your blowers, your weed eaters, everything. They're not operating as um, in as dusty environment as the mower is because the mower is grinding it up at the time. But a blower, blower probably would be the thing that would be the next. So anyway, in fact, you know what? Let's look at this blower. This blower has a... 120 something hours on it. Okay, there's a pre filter right there. See how clean that is in there? That's the clean side. See? There's a little bit, not a lot. These, uh, these paper filters are really, really good. They're very, um, 
they're very good at filtering out contaminants and then of course you've got your pre-filter right here all right guys well that's it go do your maintenance and um, make this equipment last long because it's expensive i'll talk to you guys on the next video